Thompson right. played for five seasons with the St. Louis Cardinals. And allegedly, he was never asked to come on the pregame show. Today, on the final day of the regular season, we will right a wrong and bring on Brad Thompson. So I'd imagine, for you, this is probably kind of emotional. It's something. I would like to ask you this. Is this more about righting a wrong, or is it more about maybe it's the last day of 162, the guys are pretty geared up for Friday for the wild card round, and nobody wanted to come on? That's hurtful that you would bring it up, and I could see it's that sort of attitude that would make it so we'd never ask you to be on the pregame show. No, we had other options. I honestly thought this would be nice because it's been quite a season for the Cardinals. We've had a lot of winning pieces of history along the way between Albert, Wayno, and Yachty. So what's it been like for you calling so much of the action or being stuck away in the studio doing post game. Yeah, well, I, I did want to see where your heart was at first, and I can tell that this is genuine, so I'm very excited now. The season has been incredible. This has had everything that you could possibly want. It's had every storyline, and yet it's had the winning part of it there, too. Like, the individual accomplishments are so cool, and they're going to be memories. Yachty and Wayno setting the all-time battery record. Certainly Albert uh, surpassing the 700 home run mark, surpassing Babe Ruth. That doesn't even seem real. He surpassed Babe Ruth uh, in RBIs, yet here they are, you know, to this point, 193 games and are, are headed to the postseason to play the Phillies. It's been a blast. I, I've had more fun this season uh, than anyone uh, that I've ever done doing this job. And probably since uh, I was back playing, like this is, it's been a wild ride. It's been fun. The, uh, the Albert thing, I think, is remarkable because he's been doing it and getting better and better. And each and every hit home run seems to be game tying or putting the team ahead. And I credit you and Danny and Alexa and Scotty and Ricky because, to be honest, I ran out of superlatives, like, honestly, a month ago talking about Albert. How remarkable is it what he's doing? Yeah, well, that's where Al comes in. He's the real thesaurus of the entire thing. Uh, so, no, it, it is. And he's gotten back to the point here where you expect it. Every time he comes up, you expect something to get done. A lot like his three MVP years where I remember sitting in the bullpen. I'd be sitting next to, you know, maybe Randy Flores. But like, here he goes. What is it going to be? Double or homer? Uh, homer. Like, you just expect it every single time. And he's back in that mode. And you see pitchers, they're trying to pitch him differently. They're trying to work him in with, with the hard stuff, trying to go sliders away. He'll foul stuff off. He'll make adjustments. He'll wait until you make a mistake. And he's been punishing everybody. And you think about a lineup already that has Goldie, who is very likely to win the MVP. I know it's been a slower month for him. Uh, and Arenado has had a monster year, too. And then you add Albert to that. Nobody wants to face those three guys. You know, you are so well-spoken and bring up so many great points. I, I can't imagine why I haven't had you on the pregame show before, but I hope you feel right now the way I do, that a wrong has been corrected. Thank you, Brad Thompson. Thank you. This has been a long time coming, and I got a bucket list upstairs. I'm going to go cross one off. <laughs>